Hello! In this video, we are going to use adverbs of frequency when talking about daily routines. Our objective is to describe how often you and other people do certain activities. Let me show you some adverbs of frequency, some words that tell us how often we do something, how frequently we do something. If we don't do it all the time, we, say, we use sometimes. If we do it all the time, we use it. We use always. If we don't do that at all, we use never. For frequently, we use frequently or we use often. It is very common to use that word. For sequences of things, what we do first, what we do next, we use first. We can say next, of course, but we can say then. We can finish by saying finally. And this word when is very common as well when we're talking about frequency. I'll give you some examples in a moment. But for that, I am going to use the days of the week. Let's practice the pronunciation of the days of the week. The first one, the holiday, is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Remember that that D and that E is not pronounced, are not pronounced. Wednesday, Thursday, that U doesn't sound. Friday, Saturday, that U is not pronounced either. Saturday. Before days, we usually use the preposition on. We say on Sunday. We don't say the Sunday, no. We say on Sunday. Or if it's plural, we also say on Sundays. On, when, on, on during Monday to Friday, we say on weekdays. And during the weekend, we say on weekends. So those are the expressions that we can use to indicate when we do some things. Let me give you some examples. I never go to bed early on weekends. All right? I never. That means that never happens. On Saturday, my mom always goes to the supermarket in the morning. All right? That always indicates that that happens all the time. When I arrive home on, week on weekdays, first I do my homework, then, or next, I have dinner, then I read my book, and finally I go to bed. All right? So I hope that you understood the examples. And using those as a reference, I'm going to ask you to complete some activities. The first one is to describe what each person does using the cues provided. So you have some names and you have some pictures that indicate what activity we're referring to and when that happens or how frequently that happens. All right? So I'm going to add some extra expressions there, as you can see, so that you can use them in your practice. All right? So please pause my video, complete the activity, and I will show you the answer in a moment. All right, I hope that you did pause my video, completed the activity, and here are some answers. Emily plays basketball on weekends. All right, so that play has an S there because we're talking about the third person singular. Emily is not I, it's not you, it's Emily, a third person. Adrian goes to school every weekday. My mother goes to the mall sometimes. You could say, sometimes my mother goes to the mall, or my mother sometimes goes to the mall. That sometimes the position is very flexible. Robin plays video games on weekends, right? Emmanuel eats breakfast every day. Because we're talking about third person singular, we always use the S there. Remember, that is very important to take into account, all right? Thank you very much for having completed that activity. And here is another one. This one says, write five sentences describing how often you and two other friends usually do your favorite activities. All right. I am going to pause my video. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to ask you to pause my video so that you can complete the activity. And when you have it finished, you are going to come back, resume this video, and compare your answers with mine. All right? Go ahead, pause my video, complete the activity, please. 
All right, thank you. I hope that you completed the activity and that you are ready to compare your answers with mine. So these are just some sample answers, all right? Somebody wrote, I eat snacks every day. Good. Angie studies photography sometimes or sometimes studies photography. Yeah. Marcella plays soccer on Wednesdays. All right. I take a hot bath every Sunday. Oh, that's nice to have a to take to have to take a hot bath. Angie goes to the park on weekends. All right, that's what Angie does. I am going to ask you to please Practice your pronunciation. I will pause my video so that you can listen to the pronunciation of the native speaker and you're going to practice with them. All right? Listen and practice, please. Go ahead. I eat snacks every day. Angie studies photography sometimes. Marcella plays soccer on Wednesdays. I take a hot bath every Sunday. Angie goes to the park on weekends. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for having done that. And now I would like to remind you that we have talked about the adverbs of frequency to indicate how often, how frequently we do things. We have practiced uh, pronouncing and using the days of the week and some time expressions that help us um, indicate the frequency of our daily activities. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for having completed this activity and I'll see you in the next video.